hey you guys welcome back welcome back welcome back it is your girl a marie and we are about to start shop my stash for 2020 oh my god you guys can y'all believe it's 2020 already like i cannot i cannot oh my god so if y'all are familiar with my monthly shop my stashes we're gonna continue them on within this new year and i was kind of going through my stuff i was kind of going through my stuff already trying to figure out what i wanted to switch over and stuff so all this stuff right here is what we're putting back and then we still have some stuff over here and we have some stuff over here so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the lipsticks because i already kind of put them out i do still have my maybelline mauve for me and you guys know this was the new collection i did a whole lip swatch video on them mine has all kind of stuff on it i got scratches on it i have lip liner on it i need to go through and clean them but i don't have that much left to go but because I didn't wear it that much in December, I went ahead and kept it. I also have Too Faced Sunday Fun Day. You guys know I've been having this for a while. And once again, lip liner all over it. Focus. Yes, lip liner all over it. But I am going to clean them. I didn't wear this one much during December. So <clears throat> I need to get some more love out of it i also have the mac heron lipstick you guys know this is a cult favorite i didn't use it at all december so i wanted to keep that in for the month of january and then of course i got a little mini velvet teddy and you guys i absolutely love Look at there. She's a little mini and I've been killing it. Once again, lip liner all over it. So I wanted to go ahead and pull out my NYX Butter Glosses. You guys, this is throwback. I have Vanilla Cream Pie. I have Peaches and Cream, which I never even freaking opened it. I also have banana banana split and I wanted to get some use out of these because they are throwback and I had them for a very long time now so I wanted to use them before they go bad and I think this one is called Mirage um, I did pull out some fun wet and wild liquid lipsticks focus this one is in toffee talk this one is in Lavender Crown. She's a purple. I do have a NYX Lingerie. This one is in Baby Doll. Nice little nude. Nude little shade. I have a Ofra Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Verona. I just went really old school, you guys. And then I have my Jazzy Girl Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, if she will focus. This one is in Ritzy. She looks like this. There she goes. Jazzy Girl Cosmetics. I also have the NYX Lingerie in Cashmere Silk. Okay, there we go. You guys, I'm using my vlogging camera for this. So sorry. And then I want it to be fun and pull out my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. And this one is in Crystal Ball. I thought this would be really cute for the new year. And then one last one. This is AOA Studio in Strut, I believe. The name kind of rubbed off. So we're going to be using those liquid lipsticks. I kept in my Ruby Kisses Never Touch Up Face Primer. This is the Fresh All Day. I did not use this in the 
last month. So I want to put this actually in my project pan and I'm going to use this up so that one needs a sticker on it. I never did use my Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray so we're going to continue on with that bad boy. And then we have the Too Faced Hangover our X Face Primer and this one also needs to be project pan so we need a sticker on it. But those are the products that I really didn't use last month so I wanted to keep them out and use them up. I am <clears throat> excuse me. I am going to keep my Sephora foundation out and this one is in pecan. This is the brand new bottle. I am going to continue to work with the LA Girl foundation. This one is in toast. You guys know I love this one and this one is starting to run out if you could tell. She needs to be project pan so I'm going to put a sticker on her as well because I am going to be pulling out some project pan products throughout the new year. Y'all know my project pan 2020 little mishmash stuff is going to come sooner than later i'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that i'm gonna try to use up for 2020 um in here we only have our revlon color stay brow pencil this one is in black the soft black and you guys remember me talking about that last year don't know where i got it from don't remember liking it but i quickly fell in love with it I have my lash glue, my only three mascaras that I have open at the moment. I'm missing a mascara, a full-size mascara, actually. And I think it's the Maybelline one, but I don't know where it's at. So I do have the Lancome Lash Base. I have the Benefit They're Real, and then the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. These are the only mascaras that I'm going to be working with until they run out, including wherever my Maybelline mascara is. And you guys, I can't get enough of the Crim Shop Swipe Right Brow Gel in Black. I have two lashes right here that I'm gonna try to focus on. These are like very, very dramatic, but I kinda wanna do a look with it, not go out and about with it, but I do wanna kinda do a look with it. So that's the reason why I got them there. And then these are just D40, no D108 lashes i think these are from eden rose on instagram if i'm not mistaken so that's the only thing i have right there i do have my lip mask and two facial masks that i want to use in like maybe an instagram tutorial or a live or something like that and then i do have my elf putty primer the poreless putty primer right there and then these are empty so let's move on right here. I do have the Origins um, Matte Moisturizer. This came in a little sample size and I've been wanting to use it. I am still using this Bodyography Pro Makeup Brush Cleanser. Y'all, I just don't use it. I don't use it at all. My Morphe Continuous Spray Setting Spray. This is almost done. So that's the reason why I'm trying to use it up. As well as my Olay ultra hydrating essence common spray y'all see how far i got so trying to use those up let's move on into this one <sighs> this one got quite a few okay i still got my fancy matchsticks right here i got toffee and espresso i have my p louise base my ardell um photo face concealer that i use for cutting my crease and then I also have my NYX glitter liner right there and my NYX white base you guys I haven't used none of this last month so I needed to use it so that's what we're gonna have there and then I have eyeliners I did not I'm not did not and am not gonna add anything to this drawer because I have my two NYX matte and veil liner i have my tarte eye bright no this is not tart this is benefit sorry my benefit eye bright i have my kat von d tattoo liner this one is in broad layer i guess that is 
And then I have a LA Girl Glide On in a gold. If I could get it out. It's a gold one. And then I got my L'Oreal Infallible Black Liner. And then my Tarte Tardius Paint Clay Paint Liner, which I didn't use at all last month. So I will not add anything to this one. And then I have my lip liners right here. I still have the Black Up, the MAC Night Moth, the NYX Coco, the Gerard Cosmetics. This one is in Mud Slide. And then the NYX, what is this one? Urban Cafe. Now, I don't think I will be adding to this, but I am going to take a look into my lip liners and see if I want to add anything. I only have one concealer left, and this one is the Collab Flawless Concealer. This one is in Mocha. I need to use this up, so it needs to be project panned, so we will put a sticker on it. And then all of the rest of these are empty. Then we have my Morphe Sparks Highlighter. You guys know I'm in love with this one. We're going to keep the to uh, Benefit Toasted hula in here y'all know i love that i did not use my golden flower crown at all this month which is so surprising by wet and wild so we're gonna keep that in and we are gonna keep the anastasia beverly hills in mahogany no i'm so sorry this is the blush trio <laughs> this is the blush trio and burial door so we're gonna keep all these products in for this month but let me tell you guys what I'm putting back. I'm not putting this back. This is my Pretty Vulgar, the gel eyeliner, the black one that I use for my brows. But I am going to put back the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect. I'm still on the fence about this, but I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to put it back in my collection. I am going to put my MAC Dark Mineralized Skin Finish back. I'm still loving it, but... I done had enough love of it for the month because this is basically the only thing I've been using all last month. So we're going to put that back. I did pull out the Milani highlighter, but I'm going to put her back because I only used her once. Um, she wasn't in the lineup for December, but I did pull her out for myself and a client. And I'm just going to put her back because I'm still like, mm, I don't know. Um, the foundations. If y'all haven't seen my review on this bad boy, the Maybelline Dream Radiant Foundation, go check it out. I will have it linked in the card. I did this video last year. You guys, I can't believe I'm saying last year, but literally just a few months ago. I want to say I did it in December, but this one is in 125 Coconut. You guys, I absolutely love this. I've been using it nonstop, but it's time for me to share some love with somebody else. I'm going to put up my Joy Beauty set, uh, Selfie Ready Setting Spray. This is the matte one. I've been killing it ever since I picked it up. As well as the Joy Beauty Glow Activator Primer, the Radiant Primer. You guys, I've been killing it ever since I picked it up. And I need to put it back, give it some, give somebody else some love. My Koki Professional Foundation, this one is in 120C. You guys know that I have the perfect shade of 70C. I did pick this up because y'all know my Koki is going out of business in my Walmart. So I picked this up and I wanted to try to see if I actually like it, which I really, really do. But I still like 70C more. But you guys know a Koki Professionals video updated product, where have you been type of thing is coming up shortly. My Huda Beauty, this one is in Mocha, the faux filter. I did use this and I need to put her back because I still love her. I have all these lipsticks that I'm putting back and they range from e.l.f., Wet n Wild, MAC, LA Colors, um, Maybelline and Ruby Kisses, yes. I'm putting all these back because I used every last one of these all month long and there's not one that I do not like or want to get rid of. So I'm going to put these back into my collection. Okay, so for the three concealers that I'm putting back, I have L'Oreal Honey, which I love. I have the CoverGirl in 
caramel, which I love. Now, the only one I'm still on the fence about is this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This one is in Golden Honey. It pulls very, you see how orange it is? It really looks this orange on my face. So I'm kind of like ready to throw it away, but I still want to work with it a little bit more. I actually mix these two all month long because this is just entirely too orangey on my skin but i love honey but it's time for me to give somebody else some love and all i got is this collab one that i'm gonna work with this month but of course we're gonna dig in to something else try to pull something else out my l'oreal pro matte and golden beige y'all know savannah here on youtube turned me on savannah silver turned me on to sit in my under eye with this i still love this but i'm gonna put it back and see if i can find something else my fit me medium deep y'all know i love this that would never go away i'm still on the fence about this rumel stay matte loose translucent powder you guys, I thought I decluttered it, but I think I said I was going to try to project pan it. I can't remember, but it is still here. So I've been trying to use it and I still just don't like it. So if I still just can't get the feel of it by the next time I try it, I'm going to keep this container, but I'm going to dump all of this translucent out and fill it up with another... Um another loose powder that has like a jacked up top or something to it that's what i like to do with all of my containers i like to empty them out keep them and use something else in it i am going to put back my black radiance banana powder you guys know i love this she's not going nowhere i'm gonna finally put my maybelline master blush away I use the highlighter, I use the blushes, I still love it, I'm still going to keep it. My Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2, you guys, I tried to use majority of them. I really used B, Sola, Tal, Lena, and Z Zuba. I didn't use Yara. I am, however, going to keep the Warrior 2 palette out. It's an all matte palette, and I've been dying to do an all matte look, so I'm going to keep her. I think I'm going to keep the Festival palette out. I need to pull out some palettes that have, like, a whole lot of shimmer and, you know, New Year's type of look. So I am going to keep these two out, but all of this is what we're putting back. Oh, and my, um, what is this, Holland's Natural I'm gonna put all of this stuff up for the time being because I actually want to move over to what is it called for myself they sent me over some products to test out this is the teeth whitening pen this one is the lash serum I believe yeah the eyelash and brow growth serum is with castor oil in it and they also gave me a vitamin c serum and it's by the brand for myself i found them well they found me and they come from amazon so i'm gonna put the highlands natural up and pull this stuff out and work with this stuff some more i have actually been testing this out the teeth whitening stuff i like it but it actually hurts my freaking teeth but all teeth whitening stuff hurt my teeth i guess because my teeth they're so sensitive that it just uh, it hurts but i'm gonna continue to test this stuff out and i actually like the vitamin c so far so I'm going to continue to test that out and hopefully bring you guys a review. Um, we have palettes over there. All my palettes that we've been using and trying to use have been over there. We have the Shop My Stash, not Shop My Stash, Project Pan items that I really need to put stickers on. And we're going to pull some of that out. And then we're going to get over there into the drawers. Whew, y'all, it's so much easier to go through them drawers now that they're not jam-packed. But it's so much easier, and we're going to get into it. We got some new products that's over there in that bin back there. We're going to pull out some stuff. 
we're gonna pull out some stuff and use it for the month let me go through them real quick and see exactly these are both project pans for 2020 and you guys like i said i'm gonna bring you a whole video of everything that's in there but i'm gonna go through it see what i'm gonna pull out and use and then i'll come back and show you guys all right so out of this first basket which i went ahead and used some of my budget stickers to go ahead and stick everything I'm going to check online and see if Maybelline even still sells the Maybelline Dream Wonder foundation. Um, this one is in 95 Coconut. I'm almost finished with it and it's in a project pan. So if they still have this to be found somewhere, I will be putting that on camera. But if not, I will just use it on its own. And I'm going to use up my Maybelline Dewy and Smooth in 355 Coconut. You guys like, I'm literally almost out of all of that. Um, I do have my MAC Paint Pot Painterly. My Paint Pot Painterly. You guys, I'm nowhere near finished, but I kind of want to use this up within a year. So I'm going to put that in the drawer. <clears throat> I'm also going to try to use up my Anastasia dip brow in ebony. I should have left the tops off to all of this um, Ebony is Getting there like literally she's getting there. So we're gonna try to use her up These four concealers literally you guys these are almost gone the color pop The color pop no filter in dark 40 tart tart shape tape in tan deep sand the maybelline fit me in 30 cafe and then my wet and wild photo focus concealer in zork coco you guys all of these are almost done so we're gonna throw those in as well as that collab flawless concealer every last one of them are almost done so i'm gonna feel real proud of myself for finishing every last one of these up. I also have the NYX Michael Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in Espresso. Yes, I have very little left. You guys know I'm not a big fan of the Micro Pencil, but I have like maybe 10 more times to use this. I'm just saying 10, I don't know for sure, but it's almost done. I am going to be working on this ColourPop Single Eyeshadow in I Heart This. This is the Super Shock Shadow. This was one of the very first ColourPop eyeshadows I bought myself. So, been having that since I started my channel. And then my Black Radiance Bronze Glow Press Powder. We're going to use all of these products that are already Project Pan. And as you can tell, we love it so i think i'm gonna take like a sharpie and put a dot somewhere in here so we could keep track of where we've been going with this and how far we've been getting so i think that's what i'm gonna do but now it's time to get in this one and see what we're gonna pull out or if we're gonna pull out anything all right you guys i had to switch up the angle just a little bit I think I'm gonna have to close the garage all the way because my kids are outside playing. But I did want to go ahead and add the Forsali elixir, the unicorn elixir. It is a project pan and it's like literally almost gone. And then I'm gonna add my Pixie Makeup Fix and Mist. You guys see the line in it right here. That's how much I have left. So I am going to try to use that up and use it as a setting spray. And then I'm going to pull in my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, which is normal to dry. This one is 355 Coconut as well. And from what I could tell, it's about this much left. So I'm okay with trying to use this up, which I know it'll be only two or three uses and then I'll be completely done. I didn't go ahead and mark this one, but as we could tell, I think it's like right there. That's what I'm kind of going by, is where my 
markation is. So I'm going to put it right there and say we're that far along in the LA Girl. And then I forgot to do this one as well. The Maybelline Dream Wonder, which looks like we're right there at the fluid line. So I'm going to mark it there so we could keep up with how much have that we've been using for the year and i have sat back and done this to all of the project pan products so when i go to do that video you guys will see the markations of basically everything so now i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to the new product bin and see what i could pull out and i'll be back to show you guys all right you guys i just went through the new bin and then i kind of went over a little bit more stuff so the only thing i could find in a new bin that i wanted to use was my full spectrum by CoverGirl, and this is the matte ambition foundation this one is in deep golden you guys know i just found this not too long ago and i've been holding it in the new bin for me to test out and try it out I know this is basically old by now, but but I wanted to use it. Um, I won't do like a review unless you guys want it, but I am going to pull this one in and that's the foundation as well as the full spectrum um, matte ambition powder foundation. And this one is in deep cool four. Hopefully it's my shade. Hopefully it's my match because I have never opened it but we're gonna try that out and we're gonna use this for face powder and then of course we're gonna pull out the full spectrum ebony bronzer you guys know they reformulated and brought this back so I said I wasn't gonna use it until I used up all the rest of the other one but I do kind of want to do like a comparison type of video of the two you guys know the other one is in my project pan to use up but let me know if you guys would like a comparison from the old versus the new and i will do that but we will be using this bad boy okay so the only other new product will be the photo candy by revlon and this one is in zero two you guys know i have zero one and i will be doing a updated video on the Revlon Candid line too but I found this and been wanting to use it so we're gonna do that and use this as the only setting powder that we have so far and then while going through a lot of my stuff you guys look at my hands I went through my lip liners girl and I said I wasn't gonna pull out no more lip liners but it happened it happened so I do have the LA colors lip liner and chocolate the city colors in cocoa the LA colors in black brown which I said I was gonna use this black brown as a brow pencil because it is a little too dark for my lips so we're gonna put that over there to the eyebrow section this wet and wild gel lip liner y'all and gone burgundy Ooh, I forgot how creamy these was so I'm gonna use that bad boy I ain't gonna promise that I'm gonna use every last one of these lip liners but I am putting them in for options I have the NYX brown lip liner I have the Maybelline color sensational lip liner in rich chocolate I forgot how creamy and how good this one was and you guys I know they don't sell them no more I know that you can find Jordana on Amazon but they're no longer in stores but this is Coco Loco from Jordana and it's a retractable pencil y'all this used to be my sh all day every day and I still have a whole lot left as you could tell if I could find it on Amazon then I would link it in my Amazon store and you guys know I have a store so we're gonna figure out what products we actually really like and we're gonna use those and we need to start adding some stuff to our Amazon store so I have those and the only one that won't fit is the city colors because it is so freaking long so I'm gonna sit it like right next to the lip liquid lipsticks and hopefully get some use out of it I did pull out two more liners I pulled out this um, what is this this is against the clock 
from the Disney collection out of my Walgreens Cinderella collection. I pulled out a silver one since I got a gold one. So I'm going to try to use this and see if I like it. Never used it. And then I'm going to pull out my Fenty Beauties um, Eclipse 2-in-1 Glitter Liner. This one is in Neptunt. And it's the pretty green one. And you know if you smudge them, they turn into a whole nother color. So we're going to put these two in the glitter liner drawer where I have the rest of the stuff. And then I'm going to pull out my sassy eyelash glue to go with my Ardell Kiss glue. I think it's Ardell. No, just Kiss Professionals lash glue. I'm going to use these two. I'm going to go between these two. You guys, this is like hair glue and I freaking love it. But I'm going to put these together and use these. All right. Now it's time for me to go into the drawers. When I was going through my lip liners, I found some lip liners that don't even match me. As well as I found some lip liners that had like fuzzy mold on it. Ew. And I went ahead and threw them away, but I'm going to go ahead and throw these away because I think I've used these before. This is the LA Colors. This one is City Colors. This one is Collab. This one is another Jordana. And this one is a Real Her. So I think I tried these and used them before because none of them look brand new. So I'm just going to go ahead and chunk them. These will never match my skin tone. So I am going to get rid of these. All right. And I'm back. I kind of cleared off everything. Okay, you guys. I'm going to try to use this AOA setting powder. It's the perfect setting powder in banana. I talked about this in my um, declutter series. I said I didn't know if I like it. It's like a love-hate relationship. So I am going to try it. It's in my shop mustache section of my drawer. So I'm going to try that. I did pull out two more glitters. Let me show you guys what I did. So I pulled out some singles. So of course you've seen the color pop, but these are Mayo makeup pigments right here that I just don't get no use out of. So I pulled these out so that I could use them. And then these AOA Studio glitters I pulled out to try to get some use out of. So I did go ahead and pull in two of my liquid glitters. I have the Stila Kitten Karma. No, this is Smoldering. Smoldering Satin. I'm going to use that because it's kind of drying out and it's a sample size. So I'm going to try to use that. As well as my Star Looks Liquid Eyeshadow. This one is in Rose Gold. So I'm gonna try to use I'm gonna try to use that one as well. I'm probably gonna have to put it. I kind of want to give you guys like some holiday movie looks, so I'm gonna put those in. Hopefully that'll work. If it doesn't stay, I'm gonna have to move some some stuff around. <laughs> and like I said, I got these. You know what? I am gonna move these. I have an empty drawer right here. Sorry, you guys, it is so loud empty drawer right here. I'm going to put the glitter liners and stuff over here. So I will have one drawer of the glitter liners and then one month for the bases that I want to use. The MAC Painterly will really go on my face and not my eyes, but it's a base, okay? And then I have my single shadows that will work. All right. So I pulled out two more face primers. I have already the F Coreless Putty Primer. I have the Frisali, which is about to be done. The Hangover, which is about to be done. You know, it's the Project Pan. Um, I don't know exactly how much I got left, but I keep squeezing. And it seems like it's like right here. So I'm going to keep using that until I finish. As well as the Ruby Kisses one. It doesn't seem to have a lot. And that's a project pan. So just in case if I run out of these two. I'm going to pull in my Wet n Wild Matte Primer. It's nothing new. But you guys, I've been loving it. Photo Focus. Y'all know I'm a big fan of the Wet n Wild. So I'm going to put it this one underneath as well as my elf 
poreless face primer. I haven't used this in a long time and it is in my, my shop mustache section in my drawer. So I need to use this only if I use uh, one of these three. So these go on top and I do have my one moisturizer that I'm gonna use. I'm only gonna use one moisturizer for this one because I really wanna test out the origins. And then I went ahead and pulled out just one more cheek product. I pulled out the Ulta Cheek Color. This one is in Sunkiss. I kind of want a neutral, at least one neutral blush. So I'm going to put that over here. And it's going to go with the Anastasia blushes. And they're more corally pinks and fall colors. So that's the reason why I want a neutral color. So palettes, I already talked about these two. I think I am going to keep them. I am going to keep my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. She looks like that. Oops. She looks like that. Fun party colors. And then my Perfusion Wonder Dusk. Wonder Lust. Eyeshadow palette. So, y'all don't mind the mess on my desk. But I think that's everything that I want to use for this month i may pull in another palette but i may not i kind of want to focus on those four and see what i could do but if i pull in another palette for the month i will update you guys and let y'all know but that is everything for the month of january i feel like we got a lot of project pan items and i think we're gonna do really well in the project pan items but we also got some new goodies that I can't wait to try out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing and clicking the notification. And don't forget to leave a nice comment down below. Let me know how your 2020 is going. So until next time, in the words of my loyal subscriber, y'all keep shining and I'll see y'all in the next one. To see.